Now, naturally, this is actually a new state of matter. Normally, gases and plasmas and liquids and solids we see in the everyday world, these are based on atomic um, properties, where this state of matter is based on the quarks and gluons or the subatomic properties of the matter. On the other hand, based on what I've said, the fact that we actually only understand these um, interactions fairly um, heuristically now, and we can study them on the lattice, we have various calculations in various regimes, we don't know in principle whether or not this system is a gas, in other words, weakly interacting, a liquid, which is actually somewhat strongly interacting, has collective behavior, or say it's something more complicated like a plasma. Of course, it's an important question to ask because if you consider our universe where we're sitting now, and you try to run the movie backwards, you take the movie and you, you, you push all the matter into a smaller and smaller space, at some point, a few microseconds after the Big Bang, all of the, the matter in the universe was on top of each other, and you essentially will create at least a fleeting period of the, of the universe, which was essentially all quark gluon plasma. So it really behooves us to know what, was, what, were the, what, what were the properties of the universe very early on. It's an open question, of course, whether or not there are properties of this which will persist into the, um, the late stages of the universe as we are, where we are now, but it's still a very interesting um, conceptual question to ask, what was the universe really like just after the Big Bang?